Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, this is part three of my Facebook members share their weirdest Bolo. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So how exactly does this work? Over in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, there's a link down in the description. Come join if you haven't already. And I post under the announcements, and it's called like announcements featured section, a uh, screenshot and it says share your blank bolo so i've done um i think i did toy um usually i do the month so like the whole month of january one will be up and this one is your weirdest bolo and this one got some love you guys liked this one so if you guys have any suggestions for future category videos based that are shared from my facebook group members drop it down in the comments i'd love to, to get your feedback um if you are a Bolo Buddies member, uh, so that's a member of my YouTube channel, which is a paid membership so that you get perks. And if you're a member, I do a featured members video once a month, but I try to do bonus stuff also, just so you guys are really getting those shout outs. And this is an example of a bonus shout out. So if you're a member, I am gonna also shout out your YouTube channel or your eBay store. So let's get started with the first weird bolo. And weird, you know, it can mean something different to each person. Some of these are bread and butter, some of them are big money, but definitely stay tuned because I just did one and two, part one and two, and wow, I mean, knock your socks off good. So go check those out. All right, you guys, this one was sold by the Thrifty Nichols. She has a newer YouTube channel. She's a reseller. She's a bolo finder. Go check her out here. And this is what she wrote. I'm basically going to read to you what everybody wrote and I'm going to pop up their bolo. So this is a great way to learn. And if you share, it's a great way to help others. It will be anonymous unless you're a member. All right. Hi, Courtney. I sold an empty box. This is my first post as a Bolo Buddies member. I purchased this Apple watch band at a yard sale for $2. I actually needed the new watch band, so I'm using it right now. But before I recycled the box, I decided to post it on eBay. It sold the same day for $14.99, plus the buyer paid shipping. I have a new, brand new YouTube channel called The Thrifty Nickels. I'm so glad I found your channel. I love, I have learned so much. So here's the box, you guys. So talk about keeping the item, using it, and still making money, right? A uh, Custo Barcelona blouse. I bought for $1.99 at a local thrift store, and just because I thought it was cool. Lots of interest, and finally accepted an offer of $176. I'm gonna have to say that might be one of the weirdest. Is it a sweater, a top? It's a blouse, the weirdest blouse I've ever seen. What is she doing? Is she putting on lipstick? What is happening here? What's, I don't know, but that's a big money bolo, you guys. If you see this, buy it. <laughs> All right, the next one, Goodwill for 50 cents each. $3 invested total, sold for asking price. It is Mud Pie Antler Ramekins set of six. Looks like that, definitely weird, right? This is my favorite one, free in my grandma's attic. She passed away a few years ago. My dad let me look through the tons of stuff up there and I grabbed this just to see what would happen. Listed and sold for $25. The price on that she bought it for was originally $2.79. So you guys, it's a jet dry finish rinse aid box of two and it sold for $25 plus shipping. These old discontinued products can definitely be a bolo. So don't dismiss them if you see them. Okay, the next one. I bought a box of Polly Pockets at an estate sale with accessories for $40. Sold this set for $150 and I still have more listed. I had a lady offer $100 but needed a few days till she would buy it. So I told her I would just raise the price to $150 and when she was ready, I would bring it back down. But somehow it sold. Well, you can't beat that. Looks like this one sold on Mercari. It is Disney Polly Pocket Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs complete from 1995. You guys, Polly Pocket, if you can find the Bluebirds, the vintage, they will say Bluebird on the bottom. They are a bolo. In this group, I share um, a lot of eBay auctions that are happening, and I always like to show the Polly Pockets that people put in a big bundle and are selling in a lot. 
um, because they always get tons of bids. I don't know if people are buying them to part them out or if people are collectors, but they always go for big money. So definitely be on the lookout. If I found vintage Polly Pocket, I personally would probably list them individually. And if you don't know, these are all jeans I need to list. So somebody's like, you need to list those jeans. I'm like, those jeans are my background. <laughs> all right. Got this for free at a yard sale. It says Western Digital, oh golly, C-A-V-I-A-R, Kavar, 2420. I don't know what it is. It's some type of vintage hardware. Does anybody know what this is? Let me know in the comments. But it was free at a yard sale and it's kind of weird because I don't even know what it is. So it must be weird. Um, $3.99 at Value Village. Sold for full asking price within a few weeks. Oh my goodness. Sold for $190, you guys, plus shipping. Um, Herend, H-E-R-E-N-D, gold fishnet baby tiger cub figurine, Smithsonian 2003 mint in the box. I shared some drafts. Um, it was a bolo that I shared that I had found on eBay. It was an auction that was an ongoing auction. I think it might've been the same brand. Oh, this is cool. Paid a dollar. I don't know where they got it, but they paid a dollar for it. It's got the real nice pastels. Teddy Fresh Sunrise Mint Patchwork Color Block Hoodie Small Pullover. You guys, it sold for $157.50. I'm going to guess that that's probably vintage, but it doesn't say vintage in the title, but very, very cool. This is what got my flame roaring. Okay, you guys, as resellers you know there's those items that get you super excited. So I'm guessing that's what she's talking about here. Goodwill, 50% off color tag. I paid $1.10 each. Men's swim briefs, sold for full asking price less than 12 hours after posting on Mercari in October. I found two more at later dates, same store, and those sold fast also. So they are A-R-O-N-I-K. Oh, Aronik? Looks like they're new with tags. Swim bundle, sold for $120, you guys. How cool is that? I bought this for $4 at a Goodwill. Sold for best offer of $40. It is a vintage Hanes men's Samson, uh, Samson back, Samson back, Samson back. I don't know. Union suit, one piece underwear, you guys. Sold for um, best offer of $40. That's weird. <laughs> All right. Row Furniture Company, mid-century modern gondola sofa found on the side of the road. No way. Sold it for $895. How awesome is that? That is sweet. Um, somebody put, who would throw that out, right? No kidding. Okay, I've sold lots of these. Seasonal food always sells, but this one is just odd. Picked it up for 50 cents each. Lot of six went for $71.16, you guys. Get out. Pumpkin spice cup noodles. The ramen, is it ramen? Ramen noodles? I think that's how you say it. Rare and limited. Six of them for $71.16. Oh! <gasps> knock my socks off. Oh my gosh. I love it. That's awesome. Somebody put, oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around the fact someone actually made this a thing. I worry about mankind sometimes. That is so funny. Um, wow. Okay. That one knocked my socks off. Alf vintage puppet paid a dollar at a flea market and sold it for $30 on eBay. Alf is usually a good pickup. Um, I actually did um, a live listing where I do working hangouts over on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. If you're not um, subscribed, go over there because I do working hangouts. It's a great like motivation thing. You make your pile, I make my pile and we list. Um, but I had some little Alf figures and they already sold. I had three of them. I sold them for, I believe it was $18 plus shipping. Weird for me, purchased a lot of clip-on earrings at a yard sale this fall for $10, probably 50 pair. Already made over $100 from others sold, but these I was shocked at the end result. Glad I looked up each individual pair for the markings. So um, these sold for $71 on auction and it looks like the buyer paid shipping. Um, Givenchy, Givenchy, or uh, I don't know how to say it. I'm not like into that high-end crazy stuff. I have sold this brand before. 
Um, it's G-I-V-E-N-C-H-Y. Givenchy, Givenchy, I don't know. But anyway, they're clip-on earrings, guys. This old, chunky, vintage diamond, diamond, diving helmet was given to me by a former landlord of mine about 25 years ago. I used to keep it on my bookshelves as a bookend until one day I decided to research it and list it and voila, sold for $355 and it was free. The weird thing is I never had an interest in diving copper or antiques, just books. And it was heavy enough for 25 years to hold up some books. You guys get out. It's an authentic Rolex, Rolex helmet, 1970s store display, Submariner. Wow. I'm surprised being that it was Rolex, that it didn't go for more than that. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is amazing. My husband would have loved that. Um, okay. Ha. Huh. I thought this was pretty unusual a karaoke CD of divorce songs. That's weird. Uh, gotta be pretty bitter to want to sing to others about your ex. Local thrift store, 10 cents, sold for $24.99. Um, Bubba and Mama divorce song. Okay, this headless robot was just, um, was just toss it on a Facebook marketplace purchased. I bought a bunch of vintage toys for $20. The toys I bought was actually not a big money maker, but... I can bundle them with what I have. And the guy said, if I want this robot, it has no head. He lost it when he was a kid. So I'm like, sure. So I did some research and it came out that this is a vintage Bandai 1997 Power Rangers in space, Mighty Morphin Deluxe Astro Megazord. Sold comps were a hundred and up for the one and up for the one with the headpiece. I priced it at 70 and I took a best offer of 57.50. So people will buy these four parts. Um, it looks like this was sold in Canada. So I'm not certain what the um, conversion of money is for that, but still awesome bolo. Not huge money, but it was kind of funny. Sold for $36 and got I got it at the Benz. Customer paid shipping. I gotta zoom in so I can see, which means I need to get closer to my computer. Antique Park Davis Company. It's a medicine bottle with cork. Hmm. That is weird. Somebody put, that is weird, but also why I love eBay. Something for everyone. Sold these guys yesterday for a hundred bucks. I just listed them last week. So it looks like they are vintage 90s alien plush Christmas stockings. So anytime I find plush stockings, I definitely buy them. I recently found, um, I think it was a poodle, a singing poodle plush stocking, and it sold really, really quick. So those are definitely a good bolo. Okay. Fordite. I found this plastic-like pendant in a box of rocks. Almost gave it away to some kids a couple years ago. This year, I am researching everything. If you aren't familiar with Fordite, this is actually the drippings of car paint that is peeled off their floor. Some Fordite pieces go for big bucks. I think I paid $2 for the box of rocks and haven't listed this yet. Love this post, so I'm learning from others. So... I don't know if it sold or not, but it's definitely something I've never heard of. So I am going to post it here so you guys can see what it looks like. I don't know how they identified it, but definitely pretty cool. Paid $1.50. It sold for $162 plus shipping. Look at that. Um, that's interesting, right? Okay, the next one comes from Dare to Dream Big 1313 eBay store. And this is what her eBay store looks like. These are Gillette sensor excel razors um looks like heard about vintage healthcare from this group paid three dollars and sold for 68 in less than a month on etsy from the 90s thanks guys purchased at a local thrift shop so that is awesome i bought these dolls on shop goodwill for about 50 dollars, including shipping just sold on ebay for 200 dollars um i'm sorry just sold on ebay for best offer of 250 dollars plus shipping and I will tell you, they actually posted um, this, she posted it in the group. And I was like, will you please share that under the thread? Because this thing got so much attention. You guys were just like, comment, comment, comment. Everybody loved it so much. Um, so you guys come share your bolos. It, it's really, really fun. 
Okay, this one comes from Antiques by Karen. I believe that's what it is, Janet. And she is a new member, so I hope I got her YouTube channel right. This is what it looks like. And this is a fantastic story behind her YouTube channel. You guys are definitely gonna wanna go check it out. So her mother was Karen and she was a hoarder, but not like a hoarder in a sense of like hoarding things, but she was, she had an antique shop. So she hoarded stuff for her antique shop and she had it, I think for 35 years, if I remember correctly. And I could be like messing up the story a little bit. I'm known to do that. She just uh, sent me the information today. Actually, I have it right here. I wrote it down. So Janet, who has the YouTube channel, ha is not a reseller, was not, she doesn't source for inventory. She just inherited the hoard of the antique shop. Um, so her channel is her journey through the estate. So definitely very, very cool. Um, she does do a live show. And I think what she said she does is she shows items and then people that are in the chat that are resellers help her identify things since she's not really a reseller. But um, bolos, tons of bolos. I checked out her store. But anyway, this is pretty cool. Sold in under 48 hours. I stuck them in a wallet when I was a kid and stumbled upon them again when I was cleaning out my mom's house. I had them listed for 80, probably could have held out for more, but she sold these for $40. Uh, vintage Bazooka Joe comic bubble gum wrappers. So these are the wrappers of Bazooka gum, you guys. And I have a video that is on, it's a category video on gum. I also have another video that is on vintage candy. And the vintage candy one is like, I think it says crazy bolos and it's a newer video. You guys go and check out these videos. They are unbelievable what gum and vintage candy can go for. Got this off of Marketplace and um, drove 40 minutes to pick it up, paid 200. It was so big it had to stay in my living room for a few months um, it took to sell. Took a best offer of $1,260 plus $250 shipping. You guys, this is definitely a bolo. It is a vintage um, Masters of the Universe He-Man Battle Cat Spring Ride toy. So instead of a horse, it's the He-Man's cat. Very cool. I picked this up in a Facebook Marketplace local box of about 100 Halloween items for $100. So I'd say it cost me about a dollar. Sold on eBay for full asking price of $75.87 plus shipping. So Tracy is a new member of my Bolo Buddies channel and her channel is 1987 Ventures Tracy. Wanted to make sure I had that right. This is what it looks like. It's a brand new channel, you guys. She's starting to put out reseller content, but she has a great personality and great bolos. So be sure to go over and subscribe to her channel. Paid $10 at an estate sale, sold for 72. Buyer paid right away. Halloween sells in January. Yes, it does. Halloween bobblehead, scary butler, lights up, speaks, sound, and holds tray. You guys, vintage Halloween in general sells all year round. Uh, definitely pick it up. All right, we got another one here from a Bolo Buddies member. She is also a moderator of this group, so give her a sub to thank her for all of her hard work deleting all of the mean comments, you guys. Help her out here. Um, she's a bolo finder. She is fantastic with key words. Like she's very descriptive and she has a really awesome channel. She sells vintage clothing, but also sells hard goods. This is Carrie and her channel is Be Carried Away. This is what it looks like in this bolo. Let me give you an example of the cool stuff she finds. 1995 car polish bought for $2.99 at the Salvation Army. It was in the packaging, but wasn't even full. Always look up vintage car polishes. Some go for hundreds or even thousands. So it looks like it's by Zymol. It's from 1995 and it's an auto polish. Super cool. This next one is a this floor cleaner stripper, which kind of goes with the other one, you know, something you use in the home that's expired or vintage or discontinued. Paid a dollar for it. It's Bruce Clean and Strip. Sold for $60 plus shipping, you guys. Crazy, right? Looks like it's a wax, a wood cleaner wax remover. 
bought these for $1.49 each at a discount grocery store. Full intentions of snacking on these with some homemade guacamole. Someone laughed at me and said, bet you couldn't sell those. Okay, challenge accepted. Posted them and they sold within a week. You guys, I love it. They are Stacy's Pita Chips Simply Naked. Two bags sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. I bought, her, her reseller competitive spirit came out, right? I bought a meat slicer or a meat slice, $4 with intentions to make jerky, but the mechanism that holds the back to keep the slices thin kept getting pushed too far. I've been parting out the rubber feet, trays, blades, blade holder, etc., piece by piece. I've easily turned it into $60 with more to go. I just wasn't sure about selling used blades because these don't have part numbers on them. But it looks like this sold for $24 plus shipping. So part it out, guys. If it's broken or um, damaged, part it out. You can still make money. Sometimes you can make more money parting it out. Um, I've got a video over on my reseller testing Bolo products where I parted out a caribou game. And those are a big money bolo anyway, but if you get them, a lot of times they're like missing a ball or missing the key. You, I show you in that video how to break it down and part it out and make a lot of money. So go check that out over on my other channel. Thanks you guys so much for being here. Leave me a comment of an owl emoji if you made it this far, or you can just write owl. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Be sure to go over and join my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Down in the description, you'll find links to um, all of the other social media places I'm at, all the places I sell on, different um, affiliates and referral codes so that you guys can get coupons, like if you wanna join Mercari or Poshmark. Um, if you wanna do lists perfectly, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies. Um, I've got a worth point link down there, so lots of links, check it out. Thanks again for being here. Thanks for watching.